When you hear the word alcohol, you probably think of beer, wine, or maybe that bottle of vodka sitting in your kitchen. But did you know there's another kind of alcohol that can power cars, clean engines, and if you're not careful, cause blindness or even death? That's methanol. It looks like regular alcohol, smells similar, and burns with a blue flame. But it's not something you ever want to drink. Today we're diving deep into what methanol really is, where it comes from, how it's made, and why it's both incredibly useful and dangerously deceptive, right here on History of Simple Things. Methanol, sometimes called wood alcohol, is the simplest form of alcohol. Its chemical formula is CH3OH, meaning it has just one carbon atom, four hydrogens, and one oxygen. For comparison, the alcohol in your drinks, ethanol, has two carbons. That small difference makes methanol behave very differently. It's a clear, colorless liquid with a faintly sweet odor, and it mixes easily with water. But unlike ethanol, methanol is highly toxic. Even small amounts can cause serious harm if ingested or inhaled in concentrated vapor form. Despite its dangerous side, methanol isn't some sinister laboratory creation. In fact, it occurs naturally in small quantities in the environment and even inside the human body during normal metabolic processes. It's only when it's concentrated that it becomes hazardous. But the story of methanol actually begins long before modern chemistry, back when humans were first experimenting with fire and wood. Methanol's nickname, wood alcohol, comes from how it was originally discovered. In the 1600s and 1700s, scientists found that when they heated wood in the absence of air, a process called destructive distillation, it produced a liquid that could burn cleanly. This liquid was methanol. Back then, it was used in lamps and early stoves, long before people fully understood its chemical structure or toxic nature. It wasn't until the early 1800s that chemists were able to isolate methanol properly and understand what it really was. The French chemists Jean-Baptiste Dumas and Eugène Peligot gave it the name methyl alcohol, combining the Greek word methy, meaning wine, and hyle, meaning wood. Over time, that name got shortened to methanol. For centuries, methanol production relied heavily on wood, but as technology advanced, scientists discovered new ways to make it on an industrial scale, much faster and more efficiently than burning timber. Nowadays, methanol is no longer made from wood. Instead, it's produced on an industrial scale from natural gas, specifically from methane, the main component of natural gas. The process starts by reacting methane with steam under high pressure to form a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen called syngas. This syngas is then passed over a catalyst, which rearranges the molecules to create methanol. This modern method is far more efficient and scalable than the old wood-based process. Every year, millions of tons of methanol are produced worldwide fueling industries that depend on it, literally and figuratively. Despite its toxicity, methanol has become one of the most versatile chemicals in modern industry. One of its biggest roles is as a feedstock or raw material for making other chemicals. For example, it's used to produce formaldehyde, which in turn is used to make plastics, plywood, paints, and textiles. It's also used to make acetic acid, a key ingredient in adhesives and fibers. Methanol also finds its way into fuel. Some race cars use methanol-based fuels because it burns cleaner and cooler than gasoline. It's even used in biodiesel production, 
where methanol reacts with vegetable oils or animal fats to create environmentally friendlier fuel alternatives. And here's something interesting. Methanol could play a major role in the future of green energy. Researchers are exploring ways to use it as a hydrogen carrier for fuel cells, or even as a synthetic fuel made from captured carbon dioxide and renewable hydrogen. Imagine turning waste CO2 back into usable fuel. That's the kind of potential methanol holds. Of course, methanol's benefits come with serious risks. Because it looks and smells so similar to ethanol, it's been the cause of many tragic accidents and poisonings. When ingested, the body converts methanol into formaldehyde, which then becomes formic acid, a chemical that interferes with how your cells use oxygen. The first signs of poisoning often mimic a hangover, dizziness, nausea, and headaches. But as the body metabolizes the methanol, more severe symptoms appear. Blurred vision, vomiting, seizures, and even coma. Just 10 milliliters, about two teaspoons, can cause blindness, and 30 milliliters, or two tablespoons, can be fatal. That's why methanol is deliberately denatured, mixed with chemicals that make it taste or smell awful, to prevent people from drinking it accidentally. In industrial settings, methanol exposure can also happen through inhalation or skin contact. Workers handling it must wear protective gear and ensure proper ventilation. Despite its dangers, its usefulness in manufacturing ensures that methanol remains an essential, but carefully controlled, part of modern industry. Methanol is one of those substances that perfectly shows how thin the line can be between danger and usefulness. It's a deadly poison yet a foundation for countless products we rely on every day. From plastics and fuels to potential green energy solutions, methanol is everywhere, quietly shaping modern life while demanding our respect for its power. So next time you hear the term wood alcohol, remember, it's not just a relic of the past, but a chemical that continues to drive innovation, industry, and perhaps even the cleaner future we're all hoping for. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.